So every day I'll post two videos, one for a vlog, daily vlog, and another is about teaching filmmaking. So today, let's talk about how to vlog daily. So vlogging daily is just like me every morning start to film and tell the audience what am I gonna do today, what's the plan. I will talk about my formula for my vlog. like. I wake up in the morning, brushing teeth, wash my face, start to vlog, and set the camera for my time lapse at the outside. So it's beginning of the video, so you will know what the time lapse looks like if you go back to in front of my videos. After that, I start my school, start my work. Lunch time, you might film some stuff about your lunch, talk about your topic. So after lunch, it's after school. So after school, you can talk about your real, get in through your real topic. Like today, I film my vlog maybe for, okay, that's for example, let's say, what's the secret behind the vlog? So I'll get in through my topic like afternoon after school. And so I have more time to prepare and more time to get through this script and just talk about your main point that after school you have a lot of free time to talk again, talk again, talk again. So you can practice, practice, practice. Like filming you don't need to rush. If you rush you will like get nervous and you just don't feel comfortable to talk with cameras and talk with audience. So it's not easy to talk with a camera because some people are shy or people don't like to share their own personal things or share their own ideas to someone else. So being a vlogger, I need to wake up very early, do some exercise, and today is very cold. It's getting cold in Australia, so it's very hard to wake up sometimes, but still need to wake up because of vlog and I need to do some work in the morning so wake up in the morning I might need to check email, test message and go through the script about today with a topic so I need to go through every single day to, like, so like talking to 80 people behind this camera this script every morning I need to read about it and because I need to talk to 80 people the subscribers in my channel it is very big numbers and i appreciate those people subscribe me so go back to my topic being a vlogger you can daily every single day it's not that hard just need to set a camera and a tripod that's all and sometimes you didn't need microphone because i don't have a microphone because my camera is flip screens to the top so can i set microphone and if my flip screen is from the right side, your side is left side and I can set microphone on it but this camera I cannot set microphone because the screen because I want to see myself and make sure it's unfocused or the ISO is how much or the color is how much so I need to improve that maybe in a few years and so I can go out and vlog but sometimes I can because the wind will be a bit annoying when I editing these videos. I'm sure you don't want to hear any wind because you want to hear very clear sound, audios, very good audios. So vloggers, you need to focus on the audios or like it's on focus or camera. You need to make sure all the camera system is on focus on you and it's a perfect performance. So. That's very important for a vlogger to focus on your face, not beside someone else. As a vlogger, I will talk about the gears you need and the microphone you need. Like, outside has sell a lot of microphone, like the boom mic or the red, red mic. There are lots of mic. So, the other things you need is a tripod. So the tripod is very important for a vlog or you're gonna take your camera like this and vlog your vlog it's very hard to vlog and the camera will be very shaky because your hands will move every second so the last thing you need is a camera 
this camera. This camera is very important because you need a nice camera like at least 1080p. Before I shoot some 4K but it's too high resolution because it's not important and when I upload to YouTube it's still 1080p. So I won't use 4K in my vlog. And the last thing you need to daily vlog is the lighting. The window in front of me like just like 1 meters, 2 meters and you need the best lighting the natural light is the best lighting for your vlog and maybe extra lights table lights this table lights so this is a very helpful things for your vlog because we don't want to see your black face and we cannot see you and that's very important as well because when you vlog at night you don't have any lights that will be very dark and audience cannot see you while who are talking or just audience cannot see you when you are at night and just need your best lighting if you have money just go and buy some professional light that's very important lighting is very important because you don't want to see a shade like the chair shade or my face shade that's the best way to use natural lights so being a vlogger have another you need to create your own stories, create your own daily vlog. I mean, you need to have different things from other people. Don't copy someone people and just do what they're doing. Just create your own things. Like I create my own things. I went to school after school. I have a formula for this whole vlog. So every day I'm comfortable for vlogging. It's very easy for me. You just need to practice and practice so you'll get better and better. If you want to start vlogging, just leave a comment below and telling me I'll go check out your vlog. I mean, vlog is not that hard. Just you know, tell your own stories and share your life experience. And when you have some problems, just, just solve it out by yourself. If now don't have coronavirus, I will bring my camera to anywhere, like anywhere, like when I go to shopping, I'll just film I'm shopping or shoot some b-roll about my shopping. So if now I can go out, I will go out because I've been stay at home for a long, long time. So being a vlogger every single day is very important to upload one videos because if your channel about vlog. It must upload videos every single day because because that's very important for audience to keep watching your videos and every day will be a routine to watch your videos. That's very important. So so sometimes your vlog can be boring but sometimes can be interesting. But when your vlog is being boring, just need to talk more things like something interesting, just make up something interesting so audience will keep watching your Vlog. Like Casey Neistat is a very famous YouTuber. Like Casey Neistat is a very good example. Like he do vlog every single day. He almost upload 600 and more videos like in the three years and all about daily vlog. That's a lot. He do daily vlog every single day whatever what happened. He bring his camera from morning to the night. That's the main point. And I almost watch his videos, all of it. I learned lots of things, so I can share the experience with you. If some vlog is very boring, just talk something like this, like what am I going to do today, or put some extra timetable, like going to an interesting place. Just tell something interesting by yourself, or just tell yourself to talk more interesting things. Interesting things can be a date or can be a surprise, can be a secret, something like that. Daily vlog, you need to be comfortable and don't think other people think. Because when you go out, you just take your camera to anywhere and people is gonna watch you. Maybe you have massive setup so people will watch you and people will say this daily vlogger like every single day. So just don't give a damn about them. Just just vlog yourself and other YouTubers like daily vloggers outside of the road, they don't give a damn about anyone. 
So that's very important for people wherever they go anywhere they must take their camera with them or they cannot upload the videos during the day. So that's very important for daily vloggers. And I think this all my experience about daily vlog because before I do some daily vlog from January, I only it because I want to start it again. Before I have start 56 vlog already. So you might asking why my vlog is so good and why my vlog is getting better and better. That's because I have some experience before like 56 day I do daily vlog and I all deleted during the daily all the vlog my heart is a bit hurt because I spend all the time filming daily vlog so that's very important for me but at least I learned something from it so that's a good thing a thumbs up and I think that's all for my whole experience from my life from when I born to now 18 years old this is my whole experience from my life like from before to now the daily vlog I've improved a lot some people said I really improved a lot and I think that's all for this video if you haven't subscribed me please subscribe put a thumbs up give me some support and if you have any question leave a comment below I'm always free to answer any question if you want to start a daily vlog, remember, leave a comment and I'll go check it out. And, and, I'll see you in the vlog. Peace out.